So this is Earth. Most people think Earth is pretty big and um, a lot of people don't really understand uh, where Earth lies, uh, not only with our, our own solar system, but um, also just within the universe. And then once people compre comprehend where Earth lies within our universe, then I don't think they understand where our universe lies uh, within a multiverse. Now the question on whether or not a multiverse is actually true is uh, impossible to test, but uh, based on science it's looking uh, highly likely. So this is our little blue bubble, Let me make this big. This is where our little blue bubble rests within our solar system. We have Earth, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, the Sun. Uranus, Neptune. So this is our solar system. This bubble is that little bubble right there. The solar system. Now, the solar system rests within the solar interstellar neighborhood. And this would be that. So here's our solar system within our interstellar neighborhood of solar systems. So we got this thing here and then we got all these other ones around it. Yeah, it's just a little dot. But it goes further. Our solar interstellar neighborhood, which we call solar system, rests within the Milky Way and yes, you've all heard of the Milky Way. This is where our little solar interstellar neighborhood rests within the Milky Way. A little speck on that huge colossal galaxy, the Milky Way. So we're that little speck. And then the Milky Way lie here in our local galactic group. That's our Milky Way. Andromeda Galaxy, kind of kind of cool looking as well. So that's where we rest, float, lie, be within the local galactic group. Now, the Milky Way Galaxy all of a sudden becomes part of the local galactic group which all of a sudden all these galaxies and groups here end up in the Virgo supercluster which is right here a little dot just a little speck within all these other clusters I know it's crazy and then this whole Virgo supercluster is part of the local superclusters and gets smaller. So we got that little speck within all these other local superclusters. <laughs> that little speck. The Virgo supercluster, the local galactic group, the Milky Way galaxy, solar interstellar neighborhood the solar system and earth everybody knows how huge earth is and going all the way to the local super cluster and with that little speck and that's not it our local super cluster all these different galaxies all this stuff you see within here all these clusters our local super cluster looks like this compared to the rest of the universe that little speck that's us folks that little 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 speck within the observable universe I know it's crazy and then it goes even farther but I don't have a picture to show you 
scientists think that this universe, our universe, might rest with within what's called a multiverse of an infinite amount of other universes that are being produced in what they call it the Big Bang. Big Bang's happening all the time of non-stop universes. So that's us. So next time you think you have big problems or you think you are the center of the universe, think again. Well, actually, the local supercluster is kind of located here in the center of the universe, which is kind of ironic. Anyway, that's how small we are, folks. That's how much space there is out there. Hope you enjoyed that.